companies, women are 75 percentage of uh, the workers. Uh, it's for um, um, for um, uh, garment and for um, um, clothes. Those are small young girls, 16 to 21, something like this. Most of them were their dream to leave such work because it's very hard. They have to work for 12 hours daily, uh, um, and it is very difficult. It's um, it's uh, you should be very young to can do it because it's you are on the machine all the time, and um, it, the salary is very very um, uh, um, yeah it's around. 200 Egyptian pounds. According to the Egyptian law, you should complete 20 years to have then your right in the insurance. For 20 years, pay the fees. But for these women, most of them are going out without uh, enjoying with their rights in the insurance. It's in reality, it, it means that most of the Egyptian workers uh, uh, women especially and young women especially are out of any insurance umbrella. umbrella. Uh, many of the Egyptian workers are still obligated to be a member in the official uh, trade union federation and because of the new strategy of the Muslim Brothers government that they want to keep the uh, ETUF as the official institution, uh, uh, trade union institution but just um, um, controlled by them instead of Mubarak men and the trade unions in independent union um, are um, having any uh, legal protection for the, a lot of them are uh, dismissed from their uh, factories when they begin to negotiate and you, even you registered but you cannot organize a strike you cannot negotiate for how can social then social, any social dialogue or, social, or collective bargaining um, but this is why we are in, in need for the new trade union law for freedom. Yeah. Yeah. As you know that uh, uh, the workers' rights, uh, it's not uh, uh, get uh, easy. We must fight all the time in the streets, in the factories, everywhere in Egypt, forget our rights by myself because we think that the government will not give us in easy uh, our rights. Workers in Egypt now need uh, more help from all over the world, from all the workers in Europe unions. For that, we came to Brussels uh, these days uh, to discuss with our uh, colleagues in the uh, workers' trade unions here to support them and solidarity for our uh, fight. Okay, ويدعمونا الحريات فطلب منهم ان هم يدعمونا في ان احنا ناخد حريتنا النقابيه لان لولا الحريات لو لم تنفذ الحريات النقابيه في مصر هتزيد الهجره الشرعيه الى اوروبا فهي هيعمل ازمه اقتصاديه في اوروبا فده من الصالح اوروبا ان هي تدعم الحريات النقابيه في مصر